Mujeti Fried Rice and Salmon. Hi, welcome to Mujeti Ige, which means Come Let's Learn. Presented by CelebrateUganda.com. Hi, today we're going to learn how to fry rice with fried salmon fillet. For today's ingredients, we'll need red paprika, paprika and mufu, tomatoes and nyanya, onion, katungulu, garlic, katungulu chum, spring onion, obotungulu, obwa, chilagala, frozen peas and maize, kawo, kasoli, salmon fillet, rice, omuchere, flatbread, omugati, omugazi, black pepper, salt, omunyo, seasoning, akawawo kamere, oil, butto, tools you need, knife, akambe, plate, aswani, frying pan, spatula, a bowl, akabakuli. Step 1. Cut the paprika and mufu into long pieces. Then, chop the onions. Make sure to separate the vegetables by putting them in different swannies, or in this case, glasses and plates. Next step, now get a katungulu and cut it up in long slices. And for the katungulu chum, you will need to slice them up as well. They will be later used for the fish to create flavors. Don't forget to keep the vegetables separated. Time to heat up the frozen kawo and frozen kasoli. Put some butto on the frying pan. You can have the heat on middle heat. Before the peas are fully done, turn up the heat and add the cooked mochere. Make sure the mochere is properly fried. Meaning, you will fry every single rice corn. Don't forget to add some Swedish kawawa to the rice. I added potato seasoning. Now when that is done, put the fried mochere in a bowl. Now it's time to work on the salmon fillet. Get the salmon and pierce holes in it. Make sure not to pierce a hole through the fish. Now place the garlic slices in the holes of the fish. Add pepper, then omunio. Flip the fish over and do the same on the other side. Turn on the heat and add a few drops of butto, but not too much. I have the heat on number four out of nine. Let it fry for like two to three minutes, then turn it over. Now add the paprika. After a few minutes, you can turn the fish over. You can also increase the heat to the max and decrease the heat when it's needed. When it's halfway done, you can add the nyanya, then increase the heat. And when it's about to finish, add the butungulu. Let it heat up for a few minutes and add some extra oil if needed. Make sure to keep your eyes on the food because the heat should be at max when you're about to finish. 
When it's done, put it on a swanny and add the mucere. A finish of the flatbread mugati mugazi. Time to revise. Hi, and welcome to It's Time to Revise, the show that helps you remember what you have learned. Question 1. The main ingredients in today's program was rice and salmon. But what do you call rice in Luganda? Is it A? Omuchere or B? Akabakuli C? Kasoli or D? Aswani The correct answer is A. Omuchere Question 2 what does the word omunyo mean? Is it A. Seasoning or B. Onion C. Mice or D. Salt The correct answer is D. Salt. Question 3. What did the chef use to cut the vegetables? Is it A. Casoli or B. Akambe C. Aswani or D. Akatungulu The correct answer is B Akambe Final question If you enjoyed today's program What is the next step you need to do? Is it A Like or B. Comment. C. Share. Or D. Subscribe. The correct answer is or the above. And thank you for joining us today. See you next time on Time to Revive.